Well, I think we need to look um, at where growth is going to come from in the economy and what's been happening over time. So if we look back from 1970 to 79, growth was around about 2.3% um, GDP per capita. Uh, if you look much closer, up to 97 to 2007, the rate had gone down to about 1.5%. And it had become dominated by government and public spending, um, mostly fueled by debt. And what we need to do is turn that around. We need to rebalance the economy. and We need to put more effort into business investment and trade. And we think that industrial policy will help us to bring that all together in one place and make a difference for the economy. So if you look at a country like South Korea, that's been very proactive with its industrial policy making a lot of investment into predominantly high-tech sectors, a few of them, not everything, but really building up what they do and making sure that policy across government links in with what business wants to do. So education policy, cluster policy, regional policy, and the way that companies are financed to do R&D and technology development all aligns, so that gives them world-class strength in the things that they choose to do. And then if you look at a country like the US, now while that's not really known for having an industrial policy, the way the government spends its money there in a sort of a mission-driven approach, um, DARPA, the Defence Advanced Research Projects Agency, would be a very good example. That obviously trying to get new technology and innovation into the military, but there are always spin-over effects from that, and that can feed over into the rest of the economy and, give, and bring growth throughout the manufacturing and services activity. Well, one of the interesting things about industrial policy, obviously, is that you can't just pick up someone else's industrial policy from another country. The cultures, the situations are all very different. What we can do is learn something about their ambitions, the way they've approached policy, the way they've implemented policies as well. So in the UK, we do have some quite good um, policies, but often they're let down by poor implementation very slow to get money through to businesses. And that's something we need to look at in particular because as companies, countries becoming more competitive, the faster we can get money through to companies so that they can make their investments, the more certainty we can give them so that they can make investments for the future, that's what's going to attract activity in the UK.